Good morning, and it is good to be with you this morning again. It's hard to believe. Can you, you remember the day it was, the last Sunday that we had together in this church? It was March 15th. That's, this is five weeks now since, since that time. It, it, in some ways, it can't believe it's been five weeks, yet in other ways, it, it feels like an eternity already. A long time, and, and I can't wait and I'm anticipating and praying for the time when we can have uh, services here again. We get to see everyone connect face to face and have uh, just that time of fellowship and encouragement and, and uh, relationship growing time together as we get to worship God here each and every Sunday. And then also the weekend programs, small groups, and so many other programs that we run through the church that either serve the community or or serve to encourage and and help and equip each one of us to grow in our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and I am hoping and praying that that can come back soon during this time but now for now we are content to continue to provide you services through uh, our YouTube channel and I hope that it is something that you can be blessed by again today so uh, by way of announcements there's a few announcements that i'd like to remind you of again we we continue to uh, desire to have a membership service coming up here when we meet again so for those of you who would like to and have not contacted uh, pastor daryl or me to be for the membership service if you are interested in becoming a new member i would encourage you to contact us anyway and also along that line baptism uh, is usually something that we have in june and i'm i'm really excited about baptism this year because of uh the part that i hope to be able to play in that and in being uh in the water with you and and having the opportunity to to dunk you get you wet and uh i'm looking forward to that and the excitement and the celebration that comes with baptism and and bringing the, the symbolism of, of people dying, being brought from death to new life in Christ Jesus, in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm really excited for that. So if you are interested still in being baptized and you haven't contacted either Pastor Daryl or me, please feel free to contact us and we can still put you on the list for that. And we will be attempting foundations classes uh, that is required, I guess, for all who get baptized. We will be attempting that through Zoom, if that does be, if if that will work. We are we are looking into that as well. So, if you're interested, please contact Daryl or me, and we would love to start you on that that process towards w- baptism as well. So, as we start the service this morning, I'd like to open up with First uh, Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14 to 22. And this passage is talking along the theme of what Pastor Daryl is going to be speaking of this morning. It has now been one week since Easter, so Jesus would have been raised from the dead for a whole week at this time if we were back in the Bible times, and he would have appeared to different people, and, and it would have been starting to sink in that, yes, Jesus really is alive. And in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul is is uh, reasoning with people that are doubting the resurrection of the dead. And if, in fact, Jesus did rise from the dead, and and did he have to even raise from the dead? Was his death good enough? So here he talks about it in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14 to 22. And if Christ had not been raised, he says, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. More than that, if we are then found to be false witnesses about God, or more than that, we are then found to be false witnesses about God, for we have testified about God that he raised Christ from the dead. But he did not raise him if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ are lost. For if only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are of all people most to be pitied. 
But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as Adam, as in Adam all died, so in Christ all will be made alive. And what an encouragement that that text is. And as I leave you this morning, I would like to leave you with an invitation that Jesus gives at the in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 16 to 17, Jesus says, I have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. The spirit and the bride, the bride being the church, say, come. And let the one who hears say, come. Let the one who is thirsty come. And let the one who wishes to take the free gift of the water of life come.